What's up? Wayne Baron here with Dr. Fake Studios, and today we are going to be converting some images over from uh, JPEG over to a format called WMBP. Now, this program that I'm going to be using here is called Irfan View, I R F A N V I E W. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that, but I'm going to be using that. Now, you can convert over from any format to any format, but I'm going to be converting from JPEG to WMBP so that I can host these images on our new music related website. So you're going to come over to this site right here is irfanview.com. I had the link in the description. So once you get over here, I chose to download the 64 bit. You also want to download the plugins. You click right there. And I chose to download the 64 bit Windows installer for all the uh, plugins. So that's what you want to get. And close out of that. And then once you have both of them installed, you just come over here, click on file, and choose batch conversion rename. Once we get over here, you want to come over here to uh, you want to click on use advanced options, and then you want to check this box right here, create subfolders in destination folders. Choose OK. Now, whenever you do that, you come over here. Okay, let me go ahead and go where I want to be now I want to come over here to my oh, this one right here and we're going to grab a hold of our covers so we're gonna come over here to covers we're gonna grab a hold of all these now if you choose add all it's not gonna do anything okay so what you gotta do is gotta come over here and choose include subfolders for add all button not recommended however it does work very well just choose that now, it's going to take a little while for it to add all these in. I'm going one all the way to 164. So we're going to choose add all. And I just going to sit there and add all of these in. Once this is done, then we will complete it. Okay, so we got that part of it done. So now what we want to do is that we want to save it to our folder. So we're going to save it into this folder right here. And as you can tell, we've already got our band members over here. So now we're going to be doing our album covers. And so I've already got it selected right here for our Y files convert. So once we hit our start batch, it is going to batch over all these JPEG images into WEBP format. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose our start batch. And whenever we click start batch, you're going to see it right over here. It's going to create the folder for covers our batch and there we go we got our covers right here so now it's going to convert all these over and it's going to take a little while so we're just going to sit here and just going to wait for it okay and now we are done with our conversion go ahead and choose return to batch come over here and then we simply open up this one let's go over here to big we got this, this should be a KISS album. So let's see how big this file is. Okay, so this one came down to 622 KB. So not, not that bad. And so it went from 181 megabytes to 622 KB. We're gonna open this up. We've got that folder, I meant that file. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And they, they pretty much look the same. I, mean, I don't see no difference between the two. So the quality stayed the same. I think I've got it set at 75. Let's come over here and open it up. And we got options and we got 75%. And so I think the best, cause I'm not, let's, let's just do a, a check. Let's go ahead and um, remove all. Let's come over here and let's just grab a hold of this one file here. Then let's change this to 50 and let's see um what it does here so let's go ahead and choose start conversion uh let's see it's going to get it, it should replace the file that's in yonder warning so let's come over here and let's give that a thing at the end of it uh back and let's go ahead and run it again and there we go so now we've got this file so this one brought it down to about half, of course. I actually brought it down lower than that. So what we need to do is we need to find out how much of a difference of an impact it is from here. 
to this one. So, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it's going to be on a website. These are not for you to print out and do whatever with. Um, the, the bigger images. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible. But the big images are not really going to be shown a lot. The main ones is going to be the RSS feed, which is 10, compared to... Uh, so it brought it down 5. Let's check out thumbs. And thumbs went down from 2 to 1. But it, it'll help the web pages load a little bit faster. But anyway, I am Wayne Barron for Dark Flick Studios. First video in a very, very, very long time. I'll also like to say that, um, nah, I'm not going to drag it down. Y'all have a good one. Take care. And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.